Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Mixed Media Mayhem. Now today's prompt is monochromatic spray inks and circles or bubbles. So I am going super monochromatic. Even my photos have like this red orangey tint to them. I've got a couple uh, color theory spray inks and I'm using some of the basics circles stencils from Scrapping Reflections. I've pulled out some sticker books too. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet. I do have uh, a doily. I might bring in some washi. We'll figure it out as we go along. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I'm starting out with the basic circle stencils and I've put them over top a sheet of reddish cardstock. And I am using my splat box because I am spraying all the sprays. So I'm using these color theory sprays and they're not spraying particularly great. Um, I mean, let's face it. Uh, how many of us actually clean the nozzles off and, you know, shake their sprays properly? I don't, right? And I don't know of anybody who actually does. Um, so I pulled a stencil print um, off of a piece of paper that I've pulled a couple stencil prints from. I'm trying to decide, um, you know, when to use that paper. So I pulled this off and I'm like, wow, this is a hot mess. Um, it's a hot mess. So I am just going to kind of blend in all of the ink that I just sprayed all over this paper and instead of it um, like having those circle stencils it's just going to add a extra layer of orangey red color to this sheet of cardstock. Now I put it back in the splat box and I'm going to uh, kind of wipe off um, oh First, I thought, oh, well, maybe there's enough on on here that I can place it on there and it will give me darker circles. And it wasn't. So got to we got to rub that away, too. So now I'm just going to wipe off the stencils uh, right here on my kind of drop cloth. And then I'm going to put them back on top of the cardstock. And then I'm going to spray another time because, you know, I haven't learned my lesson yet. So I just wanted to show the process and what it looked like from beginning to end, from a failed attempt to changing directions to all kinds of things. Um, a lot of the times in a YouTube vid videos, you only see the parts that get you to the end layout. And this is what got me to the end layout, but it's kind of a, a it's kind of a cluster right in the midst of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray uh, over top again. And I'm like, okay, please let this work. Please let this work. So I pull up my rings and I'm like, yeah, this will work just fine. Now it is still damp and I decided, you know what? This is a lot of red and I am just going to add some embossing powder on here and I'm just gonna emboss the heck out of this paper. Like it's totally going to be uh, basically uh, what, what would normally be an art journal page for me is what is happening here on the scrapbook layout. It's like the base of an art journal page. It ends up going scrapbooking layout-y, but this is like the base of an art journal page. So I am brushing off the embossing powder in the circles and I don't know what I was thinking. I put my embossing powder uh, over top of my mat and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just spray it down with some water and then that'll, that'll pick up the embossing. No, no. It kind of turned into like this kinetic sand feeling type stuff. So that didn't work out very well. So I go ahead and um, wipe it off and then there's still embossing powder there so I got to get the Swiffer to wipe that off and then I have decided it is time to uh, heat emboss this sucker. So I put my mixed media mat underneath of the layout uh, because my heat gun is going to heat up the paper 
and it'll heat up my cutting mat and it'll warp. Like it, it lifts up and warps. Not that it stays warpy, it does flatten back down, but I just didn't feel like dealing with it right now. You know, sometimes you just don't feel like dealing with that crap. Uh, so I put that under there and then I am going to emboss the heck out of this page. Look at this magic happening. Like, I love the fact that the embossing powder in the uh, areas where it is thick is nice and bright gold. And, like, it's yes. And then I love where the embossing powder kind of just stuck randomly to the wet spots on the paper. That is just this little, this little sprinkle of gold. I'm like, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I have to remember to do something like this when I start my December project this year because I think that this is ridiculously fun. So I'm going to run my heat tool over that. I test it out just to make sure it's dry. Um, my paper was nearly dry when I did this, so I'm not uh, too concerned with like the embossing powder kind of popping off of the page. Um, my fear was that the paper would be still too wet and the embossing powder would pop off of the wet paper. It has happened. I know that that sounds far-fetched, but it has happened, so I did not want it to happen this time. So my photos really do blend into this red paper. And I'm going to go ahead and matte them on a red paper that is very similar in hue as well. So the whole monochrome uh, look that we were challenged to use. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm truly embracing it, you guys, right? Like, my circles are iffy because <laughs> they aren't very circular anymore. Uh, but I am gonna embellish, uh, in some circles and I definitely use the sprays. So I'm feeling okay. I am gonna pop one of the photos up on some fun foam just to give it a little bit of dimension. Uh, because this is, like I said, this is a lot of red-orange on red-orange on red-orange action. So I have to get up and go get a piece of fun foam. And look at that. I'm even using the same color fun foam. <laughs> so I'm going to adhere this down. And I decide to place it um, over here on the two circles. I also decided to turn my page. And that was literally a last minute decision right there in the moment. Uh, it wasn't something I was thinking the entire time. It didn't even cross my mind to turn the page until I was placing the photos down. And I was like, oh, I should turn the page. And I did. So I turned it a quarter turn and made it work out. So now I'm pulling out some stickers out of the Vicki Booten sticker book. And I've also got some other stickers. And um, I pretty much think I only use stickers from the Vicki Booten sticker book. And I'm going to decorate with numbers around the circles. And you might be thinking that that is something weird to decorate with. You might be thinking this whole layout is weird. And if you do, that's fine. Um, I was scrolling through YouTube uh, earlier today looking for some videos to watch while I was scrapbooking uh, because Christopher is working late, uh, so he is not here with me at the moment. And if he's in here, I usually don't watch scrapbooking YouTube videos. I'm usually talking with him. Um, but I was watching some scrapbooking YouTube videos and like I'm seeing all these clean, crisp layouts right and I'm looking and I'm like okay this layout isn't clean and crisp the the layout I'm working on for um what was supposed to be yesterday's layout but ended up you know not because it it wasn't dry yet um that's not clean and crisp the last layout I like my layouts are not clean and crisp and as much as I like looking at clean and crisp layouts I just don't see my layouts as clean and crisp. I don't know. Do you see them as clean and crisp? Because I sure as heck don't. Anyway, I am decorating with uh, numbers in the circles. And that is because this is Toy Story uh, Midway Mania. And I don't even know how I got off on that tangent. But anyway, this is Toy Story Midway Mania. And we always... Um, take pictures of our score and you know we always want to see who is the best in the vehicle and the best of the hour and all that kind of good stuff so 
uh, numbers are an important part of our Toy Story Mania story. So they're going on there. Now, for that sticker that I had placed down here uh, in the lower right hand corner, I needed to add a little bit of wet adhesive. First of all, the stickers aren't that sticky. Second of all, it was struggling to stick to the embossing powder. So a little Nouveau Deluxe adhesive took care of that. Um, and then that's just going to be it. So I am also bringing in some gold numbers as well. I figure I got gold on this layout, so it's it's going to work. And I am putting the little label up here and then going to do the hearts. And I'm 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 liking this layout. Like this I don't feel like this is my my normal kind of layout. I feel like you could look at this and be like, "Yeah, I could see how Sandy could make this, but I don't feel like this is my normal thing." Uh even though it's not clean and cri clean and crisp because apparently that's not a normal thing either. Um, so I'm flipping through some other sticker books that I pulled out. And that's just to see if there's anything else that can go on this page. Because I feel like, I feel like, you know, I need something. Um, I do add this stickers that says these are the days. And it's, it, I cringed and shuddered as I put it on the paper uh, because it is it is in uh, Amy's handwriting, and you guys know I have a thing about other people's handwriting in my albums. Um, yeah, it's just it's I'm just struggling with it a little, I guess. So I uh, I probably won't rip that sticker off the page. It's probably going to stay, but you know it is it is giving me a little bit of indigestion. <laughs> um, so I popped down the uh, red stars. I just had a couple of them left. Um, and instead of saving them for my December project this year, when I only have a handful of them uh, to last the entire month, I just decided to throw them on this layout. And then I'm going to dollop down some more of that Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and put down these red bubbles. So um, I guess I used circles and bubbles on my layout, even though I call them bobbles. Um, there's still bubbles too. So I guess I met the mixed media challenge. Um, be sure to check out everyone else uh, playing along with mixed media mayhem this week. Um, I'll have everybody's channels in the description box down below. Um, my layout's going to go up pretty early on Friday. So I don't know what time everyone else is putting theirs up. So you might just have to click back on the channels if you don't get them. Um, so I do believe that is going to do it for this layout. Oh yeah, I knocked off. Um, I didn't realize that there was a glue bit there and I kind of knocked it off. I am going to uh, add Toy Story Mania up here on the tag. I was going to write it in white gel pen on the actual layout. I decided instead to use a black pen and write it on the tag up at the top, just in case you were looking at this and you couldn't figure it out. I mean, it says Toy Story, uh, Toy Story Midway Games in the photo, but you know, who knows if, if anybody's actually looking at that. I love the way the embossing turned out. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.